Hello, my name is David Faure and I work for KDAB. Welcome to part 5 of the uh, Gamma Ray series on Qt widgets. In this video, you will learn how to identify a context menu and in particular how to find where is the code that shows this menu. Back to KWrite, this time we are going to right click on the view and this context menu appears and we want to find out where it is in the code. We might think, okay, we have already done that. Let's just start Gamma Ray. And then when we go to the widgets module and then right click on uh, the view and try to pick that widget. But in fact, if we look here in the overview, the context menu doesn't actually appear. That's because it's a different window on top of the normal window for k right? So it doesn't even show in Gamma Ray. So we can't use the pick elements feature because we have nothing to pick. What we can do, however, is use the alternative, which is control shift click. And this allows us to pick the Q menu and have it be selected here. So, okay, this tells us that the name of this Q menu is ktext editor pop-up. And it allows us to see where it was created. And we go here, the Q menu uh, constructor was called from some factory class that generates um, menus in a very a generic way. So, okay, that doesn't really tell us where is the code that shows that menu. To do that, we have to use another trick. Showing is actually an event in Qt, so we can go to the event module in Gamma Ray and filter on show. We will clear the history, so start from scratch. And now back to KWrite, right click to show the menu, and we can see here the two show events that were generated by Qt. The first one was on the Q menu itself, the widget. Okay, that was what we expected. But we can see that there is another object which received a show event, and that object is called Ktext Editor Pop-up Window. If we want to learn more about that object, we can right click on it and show in Objects tool. And this tells us that this object is actually a Q widget window. Q widget window is an internal class in Qt for a Q window around a Q widget. So this is interesting. This window is actually created by Qt at the time of showing the context menu. So if we go to the stack trace here, that's what that's where we learn that the Q widget window constructor is actually called by Q menu pop-up. Aha, very interesting. That's where we pop up the menu. And who's calling this? Our own code here in context menu event. We can switch to Qt Creator, and we have it here. That's where the call to pop-up is actually done in our application code. So in this video, you learned how to find where is the piece of code that shows any widget, actually, not just menus. You can use the same technique by filtering on the show event. And in the next video, you will learn how to find out where is the code that is connected to any action in that menu. See you then.